Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share with you seven ways that you can boost serotonin in your life and in your health, uh, 100% organically, naturally, holistically, uh, no drugs or crazy craziness needed. Uh, the cool thing about these seven tips is they're quick, they're easy, and you can engage in them daily. Some of them are even free to engage in, uh, and you can boost your serotonin with every single one of them. So, first of all, what is serotonin? Serotonin is a neurotransmitter uh, that affects your brain chemistry, your brain health, and it is actually produced in your gut and in your brain. 95% of it is stored in your gut and your ENS, otherwise known as your enteric nervous system, which is your intrinsic nervous system uh, and your gastrointestinal region. So it's your your neuro uh, excuse me your serotonin is stored within your gut and it affects so many different areas of, of your health and your well-being how you feel uh, basically serotonin affects your mood uh, meaning how carefree you are how happy you are how stress-free you are it affects your sleep I would say the two big things that affects is your mood how happy you are or how sad you are uh, the happier meaning you know more serotonin the less happier, sadder you are, the less serotonin your body is probably producing, uh, and your sleep because serotonin uh, works with melatonin to uh, release uh, um, hormones and and basically balance your brain chemistry for healthy sleep. So I'd say the two biggest things that serotonin affects is your happiness, how carefree you are, and your sleep. But it also affects your appetite, your digestive system, your sexual uh, desire. It also affects your nervous system because it's uh, it's stored in your nervous system and it travels. Uh, throughout your entire body, including you know your nerves, uh, and it is a very important uh, neurotransmitter for your brain chemistry, for balance, for carefree happiness, and feeling good, basically. So uh, it's a very important neurotransmitter. So the seven uh, the seven key uh, factors that I'm going to share with you today are beneficial for boosting serotonin or the production of serotonin within your body. So some foods, for example, contain serotonin. Some foods. Uh, create an environment uh, that allows your body to create serotonin. So these seven tips, some of them are free, some of them are not, some of them are in your diet, some of them are not too. So those seven tips are, first and foremost, get sunshine. Go outside, walk, and get sunshine. Even if it's just 15 minutes a day, get that vitamin D. When the light from the sunshine, uh, when those light photon photons go into your eyes, uh, it activates uh, your body's ability uh, within your pineal gland to create serotonin. So light, natural light, specifically from the sun, helps to boost serotonin levels, make you feel happier, make you feel better. Uh, the second thing I recommend is to exercise. There's been a lot of research, a lot of science, showing that exercise is beneficial for boosting serotonin levels. Getting outside, moving your body. Uh, the great thing about going outside and exercising is that you're getting sunshine, you're getting fresh air, and the exercise also boosts serotonin as well. So just getting outside, getting sunshine, sunshine, fresh air, and exercising helps to increase blood flow, balance your, your gut, your brain chemistry, and to boost uh, serotonin levels. The third recommendation I would make to boost serotonin is it's just simply using aromatherapy. You can use aromatherapy in many, many different forms, ranging from essential oil, uh, topical application, uh, smelling essential oils. I use doTERRA essential oils. I'll uh, link that up below, more information on that. But you can use essential oils because there's certain certain uh, compounds within essential oils that have a strong potency that activates serotonin production within your body. So essential oils are great. Uh, another great thing is candles. Uh, all natural candles like beeswax candles or uh, all organic candles that are scented with vanilla, for example. Vanilla is beneficial for uh, boosting serotonin levels. So you can get vanilla extract or vanilla candles or, or incense, for example. You can do incense as well. So essential oils, candles, and incense are great forms of aromatherapy uh, to uh, help to uh, create that serotonin and boost the brain chemistry to be capable of producing serotonin. The next recommendation I would make is to eat more tryptophan rich foods. Tryptophan, I'm sure you've heard of before, is an amino acid that is typically in protein based foods. So we're talking nuts, seeds, uh, organic, uh, pastured, free range meats such as chicken fish, things like that, uh, organic pasture free range eggs as well. Uh, basically foods that are protein rich that contain the amino acid tryptophan. Also turkey uh, contains tryptophan as well. And tryptophan is, is beneficial for serotonin and melatonin production. So uh, sleep regulation uh, as well as happiness and feeling of uh, boosting feel good uh, serotonin brain chemistry. 
The next recommendation I would make would be to boost and increase your uh, uptake of magnesium in your diet. Magnesium is responsible for managing stress hormones and actually when you're stressed the first uh, mineral that's depleted is magnesium. So it's, it's very uh, common that people have magnesium deficiencies. You may have a magnesium deficiency, about 80 something percent of Americans are deficient in magnesium. Uh, but magnesium is also a cofactor and magnesium is needed in order to produce serotonin because magnesium uh, plays a many roles in digestive health and in gut health and it creates an environment that allows serotonin to be produced. So including tryptophan rich foods and magnesium rich foods in your diet are very important and very beneficial. Magnesium rich foods are dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is one of the, or cacao is one of the richest superfoods in magnesium as well as leafy greens, fruits, vegetables, and things of that nature. Uh, the next recommendation I would make is to simply eat or consume in your diet uh, turmeric. Turmeric is rich in curcumin, which is the active compound in turmeric, and it is very beneficial for your body's ability to produce serotonin. Uh, it's funny too because the yellow orange colored foods uh, seem to boost serotonin as well. Um, another recommendation I'll make, I actually have in my pocket here, I almost forgot, is uh, Kemu Kemu. Kemu Kemu is a berry that comes from the Amazon rainforest. It is a little orange berry about this big that gr uh, grows in the Amazon uh, river basin. And as the water rises and falls, uh, these berries are immersed in water and then they're dry and the water's down here and then, they're, and then it's a crazy process. But these little berries grow, they're very rich in vitamin C, and I believe they also have tryptophan in them, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure that Camu Camu uh, boosts serotonin levels. And this right here is just Camu Gold. Uh, it's, a, it's a little tincture that I get from organicrainforestherbs.com, and it's vegetable glycerin and organic Camu Camu in a little, like, gel. It's like candy. It's really sweet. It's delicious. Kids love it. I love it. Um, I travel with it, and it's just sweet. And it's a little pick-me-up. It's a little serotonin in a bottle and I love this stuff. So Camu Camu is great. You can buy it in powder, you can get it from the health food store, uh, or you can get it in these little little bottles from organicrainforestherbs.com, which is, I always have one of these on hand. Uh, another recommendation I would make is to simply take your health and wellness more seriously. Um, you know, by getting sunshine, exercising, uh, eating magnesium rich foods, eating tryptophan rich foods, consuming turmeric and consuming Camu Camu, those are all great, but your, your, uh, your levels of serotonin are based upon how healthy you are and how much you take care of your health and well-being. So if you're taking care of your health and well-being, you're getting enough rest, you're sleeping, you're, uh, you're drinking water, you're eating fruits and vegetables, that's all going to help. So those are six tips that will help boost serotonin. Uh, the seventh tip I have for you, it's a great way to boost serotonin as well, but I recommend doing it in a specific timed manner. So that tip is to eat carbohydrates and specifically pineapple, sour cherries, and uh, other fruits as well, but specifically pineapple and sour cherries. Uh, and these fruits are carbohydrates that help to, or the carbohydrates in these fruits help to boost serotonin. But the recommendation I would make, because carbohydrates work so quickly to boost serotonin levels, the recommendation I would make is not to eat a lot of fruit or a lot of carbohydrates at once. The recommendation I would make is to eat uh, sour cherries in the morning or pineapple in the morning, and then sour cherries in the mid-afternoon and kiwi later in the day. And kiwi is actually another great one. So sour cherry, pineapple, and kiwi, and all organic preferably as well. Uh, but just to spread those fruits throughout the day or just have one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Uh, because if you eat a lot of fruit at once, not only does that raise your blood sugar levels, but you're really boosting your serotonin so you feel great, but then you're going to crash. And then your blood sugar levels crash, and then your serotonin levels crash, and then you might feel depressed. So you're eating all this sugar, whether it's real, you know, uh, sugar from fruit or it's processed sugar from, you know, whatever, uh, you, that will crash and then you constantly need that sugar just to feel good. So uh, eating fruit is okay as long as you space it out and you're not just eating a ton of fruit at once. Um, so once again, just to reiterate the seven recommendations, get outside and get sunshine and vitamin D, go outside and exercise, eat magnesium rich foods, eat tryptophan rich foods, uh, eat camu camu and turmeric. Camu Camu the berry, turmeric, uh, the, you can do the extract, which is what I use, I'll link that up below, or the spice. And then the seventh tip is to eat carbohydrates, organic fruits, kiwi, sour cherries, and pineapple specifically. All of these things I shared with you help to boost your serotonin levels, help to uh, create more serotonin within the gut and the brain, 
and create an environment in your body that is more able to produce serotonin as well. So uh, some of these also boost dopamine levels as well, which help um, kind of brain energy and brain uh, feel, feel good endorphin happy brain chemistry chemicals too. So uh, these all boost serotonin or create an environment for you to do that better. So uh, this is David Benjamin from healthyballandfree.com. I hope you found this video useful, beneficial, and educational. If you like this video, please subscribe below, like, favorite, comment, and share below as well. And I will see you in the next video and I will link up all the resources for Camu Camu, the turmeric I use, the Camu Camu I use, uh, the essential oils, and all these other things up uh, below with further information and the article on my website right below this video. So make sure to check that out. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to live healthy, wild, and free. Bye.